Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is about back minus front when you're using the weld tool. I had somebody email me and they were doing these rings to get some shapes, and he's just, he just confused, and it is confusing, because you do this one first, and you do this one second, and now let's draw another one, third, way over here. Now, I'm going to put it on top of the first one. So you would think if you use back minus front that the one you think's on top would disappear. But it's really in the order that you drew them on the, on the screen. So the best way to kind of show this is let's draw um, three circles and let's fill each one of them in with a different color. And this is the best way to show this. Now I drew these in this order. So this one is going to be the bottom one. That one's next in line and this one's next in line. So the last one you drew or the last object you drew is going to be your front. No matter where you put it, the yellow is always going to be on top. So when you do back minus front, the yellow one is going to disappear and it's going to have a cutout on the green. So when you're kind of experimenting with that, go ahead and fill in your colors. Now this is just the opposite. There is back minus front, but there's also front minus back. So it does just the opposite. I use back minus front probably more because um, it is confusing. Which, which one do you want of these to do? Well, this is the front. So you, if you want the blue to be like a core of an apple, you need to do back minus front. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.